How do you make a million in revenue from LinkedIn without using paid advertising? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I did that and how I built my business on organic LinkedIn. I'm Dean Seddon, CEO and founder of Maverick, and we help businesses scale to a million in revenue all through organic methods. So how did I leverage LinkedIn to make a million pounds in revenue? Well, there's really three simple principles to making any channel work. And I'm gonna walk you through those three simple principles and break them down now. So whenever you're trying to generate business, there's some fundamental metrics that you've got to track. How much attention am I getting? How many inquiries or leads am I getting? And how well do I convert those to calls? And how many to clients? Once you know those metrics, you can scale any method. But where people go wrong is they don't track the metrics so they don't know what they can scale, what they can amp up. And so they waste time playing around with lots of different stuff, most of it that doesn't work. So there's three principles to making any channel perform. Principle number one is certainty. You've got to have total certainty about who your target audience is, what you're selling, because lots of people change their mind from day to day and week to week what they're selling. You've got to have a very clear value proposition. In other words, your offer, what you're trying to sell, is not just described well in terms of features and benefits, but you understand the uh, reason, the motivations why people would want to buy it. In my programs when I work with clients, we help them break all of these motivations down so that they can find the most powerful motivations that will cause their audience to take action. So certainty is all about locking down the core message, the target audience, what you're gonna sell, your price point. Then we go to principle two, how are you going to actually do the work? So this is about the way you choose to do the work. So there's really only five ways to uh, build a business through a digital channel, any social media. And I'll just walk you through them quickly and then I'll tell you which one I picked. So you've got the obvious one, which is the influencer. Gather a million followers and tell them, go buy my thing and thousands or hundreds of them do it. That's the, that's the top of the tree in terms of the social model. The reality is though, for most people, they can't do that or they are so far away from doing that, they don't have the resources or time to do that. So for most people, for 99% of people, the influencer model is out of reach. And as you probably gathered, people don't wanna see my face everywhere all the time. I've got a face for radio, so I can't do the influencer thing. So what's the next best thing? Well, it's leadership. So this is where you gain the awards, you become notable because of your achievements, but that is a long-term win. That's something, again, you have to go and win those awards. You have to do that great piece of work that gets you in magazines and on news, news pages and stuff. You have to do the work. And again, for a lot of people, they want something that will return more quickly and they want something they can scale more quickly. And they don't want to spend two years writing articles for magazines, getting on news uh, and all that stuff. So leadership is a space that's great, it's awesome, uh, but it's not a, a, an immediate quick win. I'm gonna skip one, I'm gonna come back to it in a minute. Then we've got the relationship one. In other words, just be a great social seller. Get to know people, build your network, build relationships, have tight relationships with people. The problem is that doesn't scale. You know, if you're selling million pound things and there's 10 people, you can go and make those 10 relationships and you can work on those 10 relationships. But if you're selling a 10,000 pound thing and you've got a thousand potential customers, you gotta do the work to build relationships with a thousand people, doesn't scale. Scales if you're a small business owner and you only need a handful of clients, uh, but if you're trying to build a big network of clients and you wanna, you know, 100 clients, 200 clients, just doesn't work. Then you've got cold. So cold will scale, but you need to churn a ton of volume, huge volume to actually make the money. So uh, the industry stat, by the way, is if you wanna get um, 10 clients uh, from LinkedIn, you'd probably have to send 
maybe a thousand to fifteen hundred messages and on the way you'd probably get blocked you'd probably get reported and some of your messages would be marked as spam inside the linkedin inbox so it does scale but it doesn't at the same time. I wanna to talk to you about a hybrid of the influencer, the thought leader, the uh, social seller or the relationship driven model and the cold model. And it's what I call the authority piece. And it's where you basically create an audience that is roughly for every client you need, you have a hundred connections who fit your target audience. And you leverage content but you also relate relationally in messages. So it's low key outreach with authority driven content. The content evidences your credibility, your trust, your value, and the messages build the relationships together. And I used this model and scaled this model to the point where I have more than 40 people in our business and I demand all my team to be present on LinkedIn. Why? Because it's so powerful when everybody does this, it's so powerful for our business. And I've scaled this business from just me to that team. So the authority model is the model I recommend. It doesn't make you look scammy and spammy. It makes you look credible and human. Principle three is process. You need a system to create the attention, the interest, the intent, I'll come to that in a minute, and to book the calls. Attention is all about content and growing your audience, growing your network, but also capturing the interest of those people through your posts and your content. Mass education through content absolutely works. Here's a another little tip that I discovered. Everybody gets grumpy about what we call DIYers, people who come to your content or come and you're giving value and they suck it up, they eat it up, and you get really grumpy about it. Don't get grumpy, turn them into your fans. Turn them into the people who go, wow, I got so much value from this person, I got so much value from Dean, I'm gonna share his post, I'm gonna like his post, I'm gonna comment on his post. Build a fan base with your DIYers, the people who are doing it themselves. But also you've got triers, people who'll come get your value, uh, see it's worth something, try it for themselves, get stuck and come back for help. Awesome way to build a, a network of customers. Then you've got the mysterious group of people. They're the people who see your content, but don't engage with it, they just watch. They just look at it, observe from a distance, you don't know who they are, and they learn. And then you get the infamous message. I've been seeing your posts for a while now, and dot, dot, dot. And those are the people who come in and they buy and they buy big because they, their credibility, the trust, everything's there because they've been watching you for a long time. So that's how you capture the end, attention and interest. And then there are mechanisms that I use called intent thresholds. And they are simply ways to get my audience to tell me that they need my help. One of the things people get wrong on LinkedIn is they produce content without knowing the motivations of their buyers. And if they don't know how to, to communicate, they don't know how to create content to appeal to a motivated buyer, they will get lots of people who have no need to buy now. So, uh, these are my key principles that have worked that allowed me to go from me on my own to build a business with more than 40 people all through through organic outreach and out organic use of LinkedIn. So can you make a million in revenue from LinkedIn? Absolutely, 110% yes. And if you want to know how to do this, follow for more, drop me a comment and I'll explain more. Tell me what about my process you want to know more about and I'll do another video. So subscribe, comment, and I'll give you more updates on how you can scale your business to a million with LinkedIn.